The Bible says that mankind came from Adam, who was created in the image of God. But when Adam sinned, sin entered the world. The Bible says, Wherefore as by one man, sin entered into the world, and death by sin. And so death passed upon all men, for that all have sinned. Romans chapter 5 verse 12 This death includes not only the death of your body, but what God causes second death. The Bible says, Behold, all souls are mine. As the soul of the Father, so also the soul of the Son is mine. The soul that sinneth, it shall die. Ezekiel chapter 18 verse 4 Because your soul isn't physical, you'll never die while burning in hell. You'll never escape. You'll never disappear. Instead, you will burn and suffer forever and ever. This is a very serious problem if you are not saved. If you were to die right now for whatever reason, you will fall into the eternal flames of hell where you will burn forever. This is a promise from God, and God cannot lie. But God loved you so much, and He wants to save you from hell right now. The Bible says, Who will have all men to be saved, and to come unto the knowledge of the truth? 1 Timothy chapter 2, verse 4 God has provided an easy way for you to go to heaven. So easy that even a small child can understand and get saved today. First, you must realize that you are a sinner. The Bible says, For all have sinned and come short of the glory of God. Romans chapter 3, verse 23. For the wages of sin is death. Romans chapter 6, verse 23. But the fearful and unbelieving and the abominable and murderers and whoremongers and sorcerers and idolaters and all liars shall have their part in the lake which burneth with fire and brimstone, which is a second death. Revelations chapter 21, verse 8. These verses warn us that after we die, we will burn in hell forever because of our sins. But God loved you so much that He sent His only begotten Son, Jesus Christ, to die in your place. This is God's plan to forgive and save the sins of mankind, but only if you choose to be saved. The Bible says, But God commendeth His love toward us, in that while we were yet sinners, Christ died for us. Romans chapter 5, verse 8 Your works cannot save you. Your church membership cannot save you. Baptism cannot save you. The only way you can be saved is by believing on the Lord Jesus Christ. And here's why. In Hebrews chapter 9, verse 22, God says, And without shedding of blood is no remission. Colossians chapter 1, verse 14, In whom we have redemption through his blood, even the forgiveness of sins. The Bible also says that God commandeth all men everywhere to repent. Acts chapter 17, verse 30. This means that you must realize that you are a sinner and have the willingness to turn away from your sins and turn to God. God says that if you acknowledge that you are a sinner, repent of your sins, and come to Him, you will be saved. In Romans 10, God promises that if thou shalt confess with thy mouth the Lord Jesus, and shalt believe in thine heart that God hath raised Him from the dead, thou shalt be saved. For with the heart man believeth unto righteousness, and with the mouth confession is made unto salvation. This means that you need to believe that Jesus Christ is God the Creator who came down in human form and confess that with your mouth. In 1 Timothy chapter 3, verse 16, God says, And without controversy, great is the mystery of godliness. God was manifest in the flesh. Then, you must believe in your heart that Jesus Christ died on the cross for your sins, was buried, then rose again from the dead. After that, you will be saved. Nothing is impossible for God. He can even raise somebody from the dead. So if you believe the pure words of God and want to be saved today, just pray as follows to accept Jesus Christ as your personal Savior and Lord. Dear Heavenly Father, I know that I am a sinner on my way to hell. I believe that Jesus Christ is God, that He shed His precious blood on the cross for my sins, was buried, and rose again from the dead. Lord, I'm sorry for my sins. I receive Jesus Christ as my personal Savior and Lord. Please forgive me. Please come into my heart and save me from hell. Thank you, and in Jesus Christ's name I pray. Amen.